And the setting is you can no longer use any type of weapon. You can only use these microphones okay. if you have really good rap. <laughs> like... Hello, everyone. My name is Mar, and I'm in Tokyo. I founded an animation studio in Japan. And today, the most important thing I have to do, <laughs> the most important thing I want to do, is to talk with you about anime and anime characters and what their superpowers, ecological impact would be if they actually existed in this reality on Earth. Uh, it's not uh, something that we can actually test in reality, but I think it's a very important conversation because one, it's fun to talk about these animation characters. You can also join us in the chat if you're seeing this live uh, or in the comments if you're seeing the edited version. And also it's a very, it's a conversation that help us also think about the, how things impact on earth. Hello, Eugenia. Hello. Kenya is our moderator, fancy files or animations, edits the videos, does a lot of things for this team. And I'm so happy to have her because it's very fun to just discuss these things together as well. So mm. let's show everyone the thing. Basically, we are ranking characters from green, like S, like super, to A, B, C, D, E, like E being and red being like bad in terms of uh, sustainability on real planet Earth. And we're not racking the character itself, but like their magical power. Please see part one. Yes. <laughs> for more on why did this happen. Let's have fun. Do you want to open yours? Show me three more characters and then I select who we start discussing. Okay. Are you ready? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Ampan Man. Yes. Uh, whose power is to like a superhero that someone can eat him, his head. Because it's and an Ampan. It's a Ampan, rice cake. It's a red bean yeah. paste. Yeah. Pastry. Uh, but the thing is, he gets weaker when eaten. So he needs to be recooked. <laughs> He can also, I think, get his head and throw it off and just like, like as a force, you know, as a ball. And mm -hmm. he loses his power if he gets wet, he gets soggy Yes, as well. He gets weak. Like so, everything that would hurt in like a, a bread. pastry. <laughs> like a pastry. <laughs> it hurts him, him basically. <laughs> Kaito Kid, who is a criminal in essence, and also he moves by gliding on air. So echo point right there. Yeah. With yeah. So. Glider. And Lady Eboshi from uh, Princess Mononoke, I thought that was an interesting topic. Takes in and rescues people that are often ostracized from their communities. They like the factory that they work in is contaminating but it has a positive social impact so mm. i was just going to throw it in here because i think it's a very interesting character to discuss yeah oh i have very interesting choices here yeah let's i will take lady Woshi. Mm -hmm. i will take lady Woshi. So, Lady Awoshi uh, initially is not very respectful of wildlife around her, even if she's taking resources from the forest to create that fire, that uh, the guns and the high quality iron, making all humans thrive by taking advantage of nature in a non regenerative way. I mm -hmm. would place her very, very down because that's not sustainable for the planet. However, the social impact, I think, needs to be recognized too. Like she uh, will, like, she's really protective of her community. And because in the end of the movie, spoiler, she wants to be more respectful to the forest and produce more sustainably, I would not mm -hmm. put her in the lowest part. I see. What do you think? Would you... 
And the are your thoughts I, on that? I agree. I was thinking of the also. So it's not a black I and white think... character, like completely exactly. black. It's gray. Yeah. I think that her bad aspects are redeemable. All right. So uh, are you ready for me to open? I'm never ready, <laughs> but okay. You're, as re you're never ready, Kidding. but I'll do it. No, you. no, no. Let's discuss these characters. So, Sakura Haruno from Naruto. Mm -hmm. Ours is high strength. Ninja tricks. General ninja tricks. <laughs> okay. And healing. She can heal, like, with her hands, like, uh, and heals you. Then we have Conan. And I will not give his power exactly as Super Detective, but I would say the power of the medicine given to him, which is to become younger. You take a pill and you become 10 years younger. That, that's what I wanna, the part I want to discuss. Hmm. <laughs> this is, this, I think this is very fun to discuss. Let's discuss Conan. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, let's yes. see. The pill. Does it mm. really make you younger or just make you smaller? It, it makes your body younger, but your mind retains all your memories and experiences that you already had. And then I would keep growing up again. I mean, obviously in Conan, no one grows because it's an interminable series and everyone is actually mortal, except the people who dies because it's a crime. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the characters, no one is aging. Your ecolog ecologic approach would be if everyone took this pill, we would have like... Extending 10 years of life of someone with good intentions, for example, Lady Eboshi has 10 more mm. years to destroy nature or fix nature. It's like 10 years of solutions or 10 years of problems. Like it's not specifically time travel, but the thing is I don't like messing with the timing of nature in a way. <laughs> Someone as smart and well-intentioned as Conan should definitely live 10 mm -hmm. years more. But I feel like your age and mine yeah. should grow at the same time. Yeah. You bring up also something interesting that it's turning an adult into a child body. Mm. Maybe there should be a law or a way to control that you cannot turn into from adult to child again. Like imagine I take the pill, I'm 20 something and I turn a teenager. I could do a lot of harm. No Ooh. one should not be their age. Like uh, now yeah. that you mentioned this aspect, it's like, no, Ooh, this is no far more dangerous <laughs> than I thought. Uh, besides, if people live 10 more years, let's say in the long run, it would mean that humans keep consuming more resources of the planet for a long enough part of time. Definitely. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so Eugenia, what, where would you place Conan? <sighs> I'm placing well, not Conan, him. the APTX4869, sorry. <sighs> now the I'm thing is, hard. with Conan, with Conan... Yeah, I would agree well, with you. actually, with Lady Appeal, we better. have the same... Yes, we have the same conflict as with uh, the Death Road. These are powers that are that go beyond human understanding that we are not mature and conscious enough to like like to use. Uh, We're already living more than we yeah. should. <laughs> yeah. Hyoka, okay, tell me, tell me about this character. Yes, well, I was thinking of Chitanda Iru. No superpower, but her character is a prominent figure in her town. And she comes from a um, rice farming legacy. <laughs> she wants to make the family and local business grow. Mm -hmm. And that's why she is going to study agricultural science mm -hmm. after school and go back to her town in hopes of making it like grow mm -hmm. and make it more competitive. And I was like, huh, it's interesting, interesting. because she, she, I think she mentions um, a few times that the town is 
dying in a way that most of the young people would move from the countryside to the city. And as part of that migration, I was thinking that it's an interesting, interesting topic to discuss. Yes. I would place her very high, like mm. A or B, because that's what we need. People yes. trying to make an impact through what we already have and saving, like the making agricultural agriculture better and so on. So study of that, I would say her very high, even if she doesn't have like an exact power. Sagura. Uh, Sagura can Arts. use cards, magic cards that have certain elements or ideas associated with them. And she can at will control those, use those, but the cards have to agree to be used. And that is, yeah. uh, for me, a very interesting point that yeah, differentiates Sakura with Ash. <laughs> Her it's powers. like she can summon magical friends to do whatever she says if she okay with if they're okay with it. Exactly, and they can say no, I don't feel like doing so. Which or are you sure? Both, yeah, are you sure? Which is both a pro because we are thinking about we are discussing the use of magic, and also a con because if you were dependent on Sakura's car to use some kind of solution that could not always be the case take it off as you say you cannot rely on her and be doing the one thing all the time she cannot use like multiple mm -hmm. cards at the same time or at least it's not seen so we'll just assume that there's a limit at how many cards she can be using but mm -hmm. i would say that it's a very good power Mm -hmm. That maybe it's not as high, it's not like a super or like an S or an A, but it's very good. Like it could be, it can do a lot of good deals. Like, okay, maybe it's some days like water, some days fire, some days sure. Like see what, what are the needs in the world sort of mm -hmm. thing. And her job is just like, oh, I don't know. Imagine that she's not changing the world, but in a community, in a town. I think it's like a boost, a positive mm -hmm. boost with a lot of potential, not like as high as like the wolf children, the weather, talking to plants exactly, but it's a good boost that it's worth at least of B. Like the like Miroku that can get rid of trash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Some it feels like something like that. Like the amount of effort that goes yeah. into using those cards, asking whether they want to work that day or yeah. not. And also uh she's uh she's still a child yeah yeah that, that may that may willingly want to do her best and she also yeah. needs to rest play go to yeah. school yeah um have fun so it's not a resource that we can um like extract you do, do the honors please I'll, I'll do the honors <laughs> and i'll tell you what let me okay. open my <laughs> Chad, how do you feel about this? We know that some of you did not agree with some choices. <laughs> how do we feel about yes. this? How do you feel, Eugenia? I feel like like we've been cruel, but just <laughs> <laughs> oh. We mentioned that we're biased but try to convince each other with the mm -hmm. echo impact. It's not like we were competing to get the most ecological character. Yeah. Lovely discussion. I absolutely love this, like talking about this. Like, I hope it helps someone to maybe think, like just aspire to think about how what we do has an effect. Yes. Right? Not just like if you had this power to turn on a facet or turn it off, if you have the power to recycle, reutilize, uh, upgrade something. All these things that we do have an impact. And we look forward to having you again. Thank you very much for being here and your support. And we hope that you enjoyed this video. It was so fun. Yes. yes. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. See you Thank you for being one. here.